welcome back to the channel family thank you guys so much for tuning in to another week's video don't forget to like share subscribe drop a comment down below today we're going to be making shrimp and lobster alfredo let's get it all right to your shrimp now notice these do say peel and devein and tail off but that's a lie um so we ended up having to first clean or wash our shrimp um, so i poured it out in a steel bowl and i just rinsed it thoroughly with water over and over and over until that frothy water was gone and it was just left with like just regular water um that basically washes off all the excess filth that came off of the shrimp out the bag out of the process bag um so you see that little line that black line running up and down the shrimp that's the vein that they supposedly said it was already taken out um, so what I like to do is get a small fork or knife, a serrated knife, and serrated just means a jagged knife, and go ahead and cut along it and pull it just above and then use my finger and pull it out. Uh, so it should look like that once you pull it out. Um, and we're going to do that to all the shrimp first. You're going to do that before you season it, anything. Once you've taken out all the veins, you're going to go ahead and season your shrimp with a little bit of seasoning salt. You know, that's my favorite. Garlic salt, of course. Um, you're also going to throw on some black pepper. Can never hurt. You can always go in with some Old Bay. Um, that's your seafood seasoning. You don't ever cook seafood without it. Trust me. Um, so we're using the reduced sodium one. And that's just because we didn't have any of the other one left. You know how it goes. Um, and we're going to go in with some cayenne pepper that's going to give it a little bit of a kick and last but not least a little bit of ground turmeric for you know the great turmeric health benefits if you know you know and if you don't get at me all right so to your skillet uh, you're going to add a little bit of olive oil um, and get that heated up I went with a medium to medium high heat I'm going to spread out the oil along the pan once the oil starts to expand from the heat. And we're going to dump in our shrimp and lobster. Yes, you heard me say lobster. I didn't show it in the video. But yeah, we did go ahead and get some uh, lobster meat. And we got it in the video. Uh, we also, while we're doing that, because you're going to cook both of these simultaneously, boil your fettuccine pasta. No, you're not going to use angel hair. No, you're not going to use spaghetti. You want to use fettuccine pasta. Just trust me on this, right? So here we go. As you saw, I spread it out the oil. I'm going to go ahead and dump in my seafood. Make sure the oil is hot enough. As you see, there are the lobster pieces and there are the shrimp pieces. And you're just going to saute these for maybe two, two and a half minutes tops. You don't want to overcook them. You don't even want them cooked perfectly because they're going to go back into the heat. So you just want a little bit of color change, and I'm going to show you in a second exactly what we're looking for. Um, this right here, I'm just testing to make sure the pasta is almost done cooking. Um, it didn't need about 11 minutes for the pasta, but, you know. So right here, I'm just mixing everything together, making sure everything is getting some of the heat um, so we can just have a quick cook. And as you see right here, this is what you want your shrimp to look like. It still has some clearness to it. And it does have some pink to it, so it's about halfway cooked. You take them off the heat, put them in a bowl, and set them off to the side. Make sure you get everything out the pan because you do not want any residue. Keep your pan there. You see all those little pieces of seasoning? You're going to use that in a second. Um, so you're going to go ahead and get you a bottle quarter to half stick of garlic butter and you're going to start to melt that down in the pot and basically you're just going to move the butter around the pot to basically grab all those excess juices excess seasoning from the shrimp uh, we did have to take it off the heat for a second because the pan was still hot so we just took it off the heat we didn't turn the stove off we just took it off the heat for a few minutes and while it's off the heat as you see the butter's melting and we're adding in some cream cheese and you're going to use the heat to kind of soften up the cream cheese. Use your spatula to go ahead and just crush it down so it starts to um, separate and become warmer. And you're going to go ahead and go in with a pint of heavy cream. 
if I'm not mistaken, we ended up going with two pints just because of the amount of people we're cooking for. Of course, you know, we're cooking for five. Um, and when you do add the pasta in at a later date, it is going to suck up some of that Alfredo. So you want to make sure you have excess uh, Alfredo sauce on the back end so you know your food, your, your pasta isn't dry. Um, so once that cream cheese has incorporated into the heavy cream, you go ahead and add in the cheese of your choice. We went with Parmesan and a Mexican blend, which has in Monterey and Colby Jack as well. And now your goal is to just keep your heat medium to medium low now and start mixing everything together. We use about a block of cream cheese. So what we did was we put in half earlier. Now we're putting in the other half or we put in the other half and we're just incorporating it together and adding in the cheese. The cheese is going to give it that uh, gooey consistency. And as from there, you just kind of let it low. From there, you take the pasta. Once you have dumped off your pasta water, you are going to keep about a cup of pasta water to the side. You're going to add in your pasta to the Alfredo sauce, as you can see the wonderful tea is doing here. And you're going to start mixing it in. All right? Once you've done that, you basically add in your seafood. So you just want to toss it, toss it, toss it. Make sure all your pasta is incorporated. Then you start adding your seafood in portions. You do not add everything at one time because then you're going to end up with seafood all over the place and seafood and Alfredo sauce everywhere on your counter. So you add in about a half or a third. Mix it, mix it, mix it. Adding another half or a third of the seafood. Mix it, mix it. And then same thing, finish it off. From there, you just mix it all together. You go ahead and plate it with some garlic bread, salad, whatever you want, and you enjoy. Let me know. Try out the recipe. Thank you guys for tuning in, and we will see y'all in the next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Share it to your friends, and tell them come check us out. Later.